Hello, my name is George C. Bradley, and today's presentation is on being misled by numbers. Being misled by numbers is a common pitfall in various aspects of life, from personal finances to public policy decisions. Here's why it happens and how to avoid it. Let's take a look at the agenda. Common pitfalls to avoid being misled by numbers. And I'll have my contact information if you have any questions. Lack of context. Numbers can be taken out of context, leading to misinterpretation. For example, a company might boast a 20% increase in profits, but without knowing the baseline or the industry's average, this number can not be as impressive, may not be as impressive, or it might not be as impressive as it seems. Let's take a look at the picture on the right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be taken out of context. Cherry picking, picking data, cherry picking data. Selectively presenting information that supports a particular viewpoint while ignoring the contradictory evidence is a form of manipulation. It is essential to consider the full range of data to get an accurate picture. As you can see with the check and the X on the picture of cherry picking, let's look at the words on the bottom. There are three my there are three kinds of lies. Lies, damn lies, and statistics. Data should accurately reflect the entire reality of the pictures trying to show. Correlation versus causation. Just because two variables are correlated does not mean that one causes the other. Let's take a look at the picture that we have here, ice cream sales and sunburn rate. If you take this data and put it in a spreadsheet, you'll probably come up with a high correlation, but you have an extra factor here. You have an influencer, the weather, the sun. The sun can influence ice cream sales and sunburn rate so what you have here just because you have a high correlation doesn't mean that one or the other call has causation be mindful in the paragraph you have here with ice cream sales and drowning both have a common influence of warm weather misleading graphs Graphs can distort information through scale manipulation, incomplete labeling, or truncating axes. Always scrutinize the axes and ensure that the graph accurately represents the data. When you get time, see the video below that can give you more extensive information on this particular slide. Statistical fallacies. Understanding statistical concepts like average standard deviation and sample size can lead to misinterpretation. Be mindful a situation or a central tendency like mean, like the means, can be influenced by outliers. The example with that would be a community with houses averaging around six thousand sixty thousand dollars if you have a house in the middle worth four or five million that can influence the mean average of that particular community 
And as you can see, the picture on the right, statistical test for test for statistical significance can only work if you define your hypothesis up front. Bias sampling, drawing conclusions from a non-representative sample can lead to inaccurate results. As you can see the picture on the right here, you can see the, let's say the folks in red are males and the folks in the bluish green are females and you can see the sample size is not represent, does not represent the total population. To get an accurate representation here, let's say you wanted to get eight out of that total population and have not have a biased sample, you would use a technique called stratified sampling. You would take the seven and you would randomly select four, and that would be from the men. You would take all of the females and you would randomly select four and you would have eight as a total and that would be a representative sample there for the particular population that you can see on the right to avoid being misled by numbers question everything be skeptical of statistics and ask critical questions about their sources, methodology, and interpretation. The picture on the right shows an ape and has the word intelligent. Not because you think you know everything without questioning, but rather because you question everything you think you know. Seek multiple sources, consult multiple sources to cross verify information and gain a broader perspective. Read many different sources. Please triangulate the information to come out with stronger facts. Understand the context. Consider the context in which numbers are presented to grasp their true significance. When you see the clock, the hand on the clock ticking, Try to understand the gears that's manipulating it behind the scenes for a better understanding. Learn statistical literacy. Familiarize yourself with basic statistical concepts to better understand and evaluate data. As you can see, the picture on the right have children there. Please present this information as early as possible. Looking for compound factors. Consider other variables that might influence the outcome to avoid jumping to conclusions. Right here you have coffee and you have heart disease. And you have coffee, drinking coffee as an independent variable and you have heart disease. And then what else can affect it? What other variable can be compound there's a compound variable can affect it smoking um exercise you have several other variables there please understand those to make sure that you understand the information between that can might have another influence on that outcome being vigilant and informed can never you can navigate through a sea of numbers more effectively and make better decisions based on accurate information thank you if you have any questions please give me a call or email me at the information to the right